Hey, what's up guys? Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com today with another ROM and a Flash review for Samsung Captivate. I miss you guys. I'm sorry that I was gone for so long. I've been really busy with real work, fake work, which is uh, what I call this. It is work, believe it or not. Um, we've expanded a lot of new services over to the Captivate Vibrant i9000, Atrix, and HD2, and we've actually also extended uh, JTAG abilities on many devices as well. That, in turn, has left me extremely busy, and um, I'm, I'm making this on my lunch break. Instead of JTAGing a phone, I said, you know what, I've got to get back to what I started doing, and that's producing videos for you guys. So, thanks for the uh, inspiration there, uh, some of my Facebook buddies. Uh, we've got about 80 people on Facebook now, and, uh, you know, it's uh, it's coming along. We're looking to forward to getting 100 people that like us, and... Uh, we are also approaching, uh, I believe, 750,000 views total on YouTube, as well as over 2,200 subscribers, so we're excited about that. But enough about that, this is Firefly 2.9, uh, which was released on April 14th by Extreme Killer 09 along with Team Firefly. It's a fantastic ROM. Um, obviously, it's very beautiful, such as all the Team Komen, Team Firefly, uh, you know, all their ROMs are f absolutely fantastic. Uh, Team Andromeda, uh, they're all great ROMs. Now this is uh, running Speed Mod, uh, the latest build, which is K13E, uh, rocks 500 hertz right out of the box for a smoother look and feel uh, from day to day use. It's got the clock, no clock toggle. The auto date time has been fixed. You can now manually manually change the date and time. The Wi-Fi scanning has been set to 30 second intervals. That means you're going to see slightly better battery life uh, because if you're like me, you really don't need the scan times as high as they typically go. Uh, the MMS timestamp has been fixed. Now includes the default about uh, you know the default for the timestamp fix. So now you see messages based on when they were sent, not when they were received. Um, they've also removed superficial SD card fix. And they've updated the Firefly mods and fixes to 1.5, which is an application. Um, now you can check out more inside the actual XT developers thread for awesome add-ons and other cool things. Obviously, uh, they've got a fantastic website that you can find below. Um, there's an XTA developers thread for that as well to get you to where you need to be for downloads and add-on packages and whatnot. Obviously, we've got a lot of theming going on. Uh, if you look up top, we've got the gingerbread style icons with the large number style battery mod. Uh, if we pull down, we've got a paned glass look. Very nice, unique icons up top for the five big ones. Also, the themed Google search is present on the first menu, which is really cool. Uh, side to side, we see a couple widgets, uh, power controls widget and whatnot. Obviously, rocking extended power controls with custom icons as well. That's always cool to see. I personally enjoy themed ROMs very, very much. All of this is based on Rogers 2.2. Um, let's take a look at the About Phone info. I believe it rocks the JK4 uh, baseband, which is the modem. And obviously, there's the speed mod kernel, uh, which was built on the 12th. Uh, so we can see that. Um, Extreme Killer signature for the author. So everything looks good in the About Phone section. Uh, some pointable point out things to note. Uh, it's got the awesome black market, um, ironically speaking of. Uh, but uh, it actually works very well and it's beautiful and lots of theming going on. Really kind of a whoa, what's that type of thing if you were to show a friend. And uh, like I said, it just makes your device feel cool. It makes it feel neat. So. Everyone likes that, right? Um, some other things to mention, it's got Voodoo Sound and Color Fix, which are part of the Speed Mod kernel. It's uh, Voodoo Sound 7, the Sharpness Fix. So all of that has been added in already. Uh, obviously, we've got vertical scrolling out of the box. The messaging is also themed, and it's got swipe with the green um, accents on the swipe. So we can see that. Um, no haptic is turned on by default, but obviously you can enable that. It's got all the lock screens that you're familiar of, and they're themed as well, such as the typical Android screen has the nice theming going on to match everything else. Obviously, being a Team Firefly ROM, it's got a fantastic resource of wallpapers, which are absolutely beautiful. Um, whoever's responsible for the artwork, um, I would really, really appreciate it if you would contact me or maybe get in touch with me via XTA, uh, Connection2005 is my name. 
And uh, man, I, I'd love for you to draw me up some stuff for MobileTechVideos.com. Um, whoever does this work is absolutely fantastic. If it's a combination of people, if you're on that crew, let me know. I, I would really appreciate that, and I, I have no problem making a donation to your cause if you can draw me up some really cool stuff like this, because I think this is just fantastic. So obviously the wallpapers are beautiful, as always, for all of the Team Come and Team Firefly uh, Phoenix based builds, you know, all those guys combined make absolutely fantastic stuff. Uh, some of the people to point out in this would be the Bono One, Bryman27, Fritz Gerald, Will Songus, and all the other people involved on helping out in this update. That's a shout out from Extreme Kilo 9 at the bottom of the thread. Um, all updated Google apps such as the maps and a lot of other things. Obviously we have a new boot animation that we missed because I turned on the phone straight up because I talked too much in the beginning. But uh, that's not a big deal. GPS and Wi-Fi work fantastic. They work very well. As a matter of fact, I've got a quick shot of what the GPS did last night, and I'll go to that right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Josh here, um, doing a GPS test for Firefly. As we just cut away from the actual review, let's go ahead and load up Chart Cross. And I hope that this focuses up a little bit better for you guys. Let's see what it can do here. Going to a sideways motion. That doesn't look too bad. And uh, let's see what we get. This is a full cold boot. There's no wireless assistance. We got two, three, four, five, and GPS is on. We locked GPS in roughly a few seconds. That's Firefly 2.9. And uh, obviously it does a fantastic job, so back to the review. Alright, now that we've seen the GPS, we can verify that this ROM is fully complete, ready to roll. One thing i got to show you is the awesome FF Mods and Fixes APK. You can straight up download and modify the phone straight from this app. So say you wanted to change the dialer or the battery mod. We can see what the dialer is to begin with. We can see the battery mod is the large number layout. You just go into the FF Mods and Fixes. Uh, we'll go in here. It's going to preload this list. Uh, I recommend you say reboot to recovery so that way you're ready to flash. So we've got the large number battery obviously out of the box. Say we wanted to change to, let's pick something really different, crisis battery. Um, we would actually uh, click it, say I've read the above text, say OK. It's going to download that for you. Now you can long press on any of these and you'll actually be able to see the, the actual uh, picture uh, in XTA Developers and you can double tap and it'll almost fill out the whole screen so you can see what the mod's going to look like. Um, so that way you can make a choice. but. Super, super ability to theme. This makes, for noobs, this is amazing. There's no flashing. I mean, there is flashing, obviously. We're going to boot in the Clockwork Mod and flash this, but there's no um, there's no guesswork involved. You just reboot to recovery, click it, download it. Yeah, sure. And it reboots, and then we just say install from zip. Choose the zip, and we'll go down here and pick crisisbattery.zip. Sure. It's going to install it, go back, and reboot. And from here, we'll catch up with you in just a second and show you the Crisis battery mod. Okay, we are back up, and obviously the Crisis matches our background very nicely. As soon as the media scanning, media scanning completes, we'll show you that. And there it is, Crisis battery mod is now applied. Obviously, that is only for Firefly ROMs, so don't go trying to port that APK over to your ROM because you're going to end up with Framework Res APK problems or Android policy jar problems, which are uh, typically what's used to do theming, in particular the framework Res APK. But uh, you'll create a soft brick situation if you try that mod on other ROMs. But anyways, this is Firefly 2.9. I'm glad you guys are still with us. I apologize for the delay. Obviously the nice CRT style power off and the vibration for the end. Um, things have been going really good for us as well as my family. I appreciate all the thoughts and questions about them as well as the website. Check us out on Twitter or Facebook. Be sure to follow or like Mobile Tech Videos. Uh, remember we still have the download mode jigs. They're still just 8 bucks right now. Uh, worldwide shipping is offered and they make life super simple by getting you into download mode for simple flashes and convenience and even those situations where 3 button combos do not work. So. Also, check out the uh, services section on Mobile Tech Videos. We're actually increasing uh, some of the services we offer. 
and currently I am looking for hard brick to captivate. I'm offering a free service for that right now. That's if your captivate will not power on at all. Give me a shot. I'd like to JTAG it. There is a small risk involved. There's a small chance that the board may uh, be uh, burned up in the process. And I know that sounds funny, but uh, the boards are super tiny. But check out the link below uh, for more information on XDA developers about the JTAG process. And if your phone's trash right now, give us a shot. We may fix it. And if we do, it's absolutely free. And I'll even pay for you to ship it to me and for me to ship it back. So anyways, check us out, mobiletechvideos.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And be ready. There's going to be a lot of videos coming out this week.